Hey, what's up? My name is Chris and welcome to Coding in Public. Today I want to show you how you can debug mobile Safari using a Mac and your iPhone plugged into your machine. Now I've got this site pulled up that I was working on. I was doing a live stream the last few weeks and I wanted to kind of finalize it for myself. I'm not going to live stream this section anymore, um, but I wanted to kind of fix some of the things that I didn't quite get right or just upgrade it and kind of finalize the whole thing. So I've actually got this up on GitHub and I'm just working off the community improvements branch and you can contribute to if you want to, to make this better than what I'm even doing. Uh, and I would welcome that. But as you can see here, I've got it pulled up on Chrome and Safari for the desktop. And both of these look right. It looks like everything is working properly. However, as soon as I looked on my phone to where I'd published this on Netlify, I realized suddenly that arrow just isn't right. And I couldn't figure out exactly what was going on. So there's actually a really quick and easy way to debug. First of all, you just have to open the settings um, app on your iPhone and go to Safari. Scroll all the way down until you see advanced and then click on that and make sure that web inspector is turned on. Now, go ahead and open back up the browser and go to Safari on desktop. Make sure that's enabled here and you want to go to the develop menu. If you don't have that, you can actually go to Safari here in preferences and then underneath advanced, click show develop menu in menu bar. So I've got that, and then I'm going to come back up here, and you'll notice that I've got my iPhone showing. And what I can do is actually just click here to pull up an inspector for that mobile page. And as I actually move around, notice on my phone, it's actually showing me exactly what I'm selecting. And I can interact with it just like I would on desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and click this because I see that's the problem. As I scroll through here, I'm not really seeing anything different until I come down here to this user agent style sheet, which is what I'd be looking for because it's something native to the browser. And I see here that I've got a padding right of 1M. Well, that would be a problem. So I can come back up this way and say a padding of zero. And suddenly you can see that fixed it on my phone. So now I know that that's the problem. And it's pretty easy to do once you've got an inspector that you can actually use to inspect a live site like this. Well, I hope this was a help. If you have any questions, let me know. And I will catch you in the next one. Happy coding.